What's happening everyone, Brian Mello here again over at Marty's Buick GMC and in front of me today is a 2020 Buick Enclave Avenir. This is pretty much the tip of the top uh, for the Enclave line and this thing is finished in white frost tricoat. Now as with most of it, my videos, as I'm sure you've all realized by now, we're going to do a quick walk around this thing, show you some of the features there and then we'll jump inside and show you what goes on inside as well. So let's jump right into this thing. First things first, here's a look at your key fob. Of course you got your lock, unlock, lift and lower the lift gate, remote start and your panic button. Really small form factor, fits in the pocket well. Uh, up front, we've got that Buick signature grille with the tri-shield in the middle. You've got LED day running lights, projector housing headlamps. We've got our fog lights down low, and then you can see these little dots here. Those are your front parking sensors. Really nice looking look in the front. It does have the 3.6 liter V6 under the hood and the eight speed automatic transmission. I'm gonna step back so you can get kind of a side profile of this thing. Great looking design. I love the body lines on this thing. The wheel design's really good. Come up and take a peek at that. So these are 20 inch wheels and that is a 255-55 Continental tire. Very, very quiet ride. I'll give you a look at the tread. Pretty much the same way that GMC does their logos now up on the fender. You can see you've got this design here. We've got our side mirrors with of course, marker indicators built in and underneath you can see you've got another camera there uh, for that surround vision camera system. Avenir badging right down there on the door. Of course, this is keyless entry and you can see the back windows are nice and tinted. Go around the back. You can see we've got our dual exhaust system. Trailer tow package is all set up on here. It's just hidden right underneath that cap. You can see once again in the back, we've got our parking sensors, rear backup camera, rear wiper and I'm just going to use this right here to open up the back. Let's see what we've got going on in here. So if you're wondering this is just the floor mats. We try not to take those out so people don't get them all dirty. This thing does have uh, like this all weather, the all weather liners which is really nice. Don't destroy your carpeting especially uh, if you're like me in New England it's really good to have because well the snow just kind of destroys everything. So. Uh, you do have the power folding seats. You can see it actually drops the headrest as well. You've also got a power outlet back here. So in case you need to plug anything in, you are good to go there. And tie down hooks if you want to throw um, like a, something over your luggage or whatever you have back here, any products that you're, that you're carrying around, you don't want anybody to be able to see. Maybe you just want to hide some Christmas presents from the kids can do that as well. I'm going to do one touch right here on the back and that's going to lower the lift gate down. You can see we've got the Enclave, Enclave, Enclave badging uh, on the bottom left hand corner as well as the all wheel drive logo as well. Once again I'm going to back up so you guys can get a uh, little side profile of this thing. Vehicles sure have come a long way. Look at that uh, Isuzu Ascender sitting in front of it. Now this window is really tinted and I know I usually try and let everybody pause the video to see the window sticker but my guess is that's just not going to happen here. So I'm going to just tell you the standard vehicle price is $56,100. We've added in the Avenir technology package which gives you the adaptive cruise control, um, the trailering equipment, you got premium suspension, it's even hard for me to see with the reflection. Uh, enhanced auto automatic emergency braking. You've got the white frost tri coat. That's the extra $600 paint job option. There's the floor liner package that we just saw on the back, $395. All the options bring this thing up to $61,035. Fuel economy, you're at 20 combined, 25 highway. So not too bad there. And of course, five star safety ratings. Let's take a peek in the back. So I'll give you a peek at the door. We've got aluminum and wood trim. Looks really nice there, especially with the black leather and gray stitching. Inside, once again, we've got black leather. We've got gray piping, gray stitching. Looks really good. These, of course, are perforated seats and they are heated in the back. So both your captain's chairs are heated. You can see, let me just climb in here. You can see down low, we've got 
our full AC outlet. We've got two USB ports and our rear climate controls as well as our rear heated seat controls. You can see the floor liners. If for some reason you wanted to pull them out in the summertime maybe, you can. You just grab them, they'll pull right out. I do like that they had the logo in there. And those things are heavy duty. These are not some cheap, you know, cheap junk. This thing is, that's the real deal. You also have a glass roof back here so your passengers can enjoy the sun as well as you. Plenty of room, that's for sure. Let's hop up front. Once again, I'll give you just kind of a peek at the door. You can see you do have the Bose audio there. You have your uh, control for the lift gate, how high you want it to open up. You can do max, you can do three quarters. You can see all your seat controls are here, power lumbar support, your Avenir. So pretty much the Avenir is essentially like the Denali for Buick. I know it's relatively new, so some people may not have heard of it yet. The seats are incredibly comfortable. Let's hop right into this thing. I'm gonna fire it up. All right. I'm just gonna put the key down. I'm gonna adjust the seat so I can show you everything. All right. Now, as always, I'm going to start on the left. I'm going to work my way to the right at the end. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, comments, want to know more or less, whatever the case may be, please don't hesitate to ask. I'd be happy to answer any of the questions that you may have. So with that said, let's get right into it. We have our power windows, power mirrors, and of course, they do fold in. Remember, you have cameras built into these things. You don't want one of them getting uh, taken off on a city street somewhere. So if you park somewhere tight, make sure you fold those mirrors in. You do have your memory seat uh, buttons here door locks up top. Uh, electronic parking brake or your emergency brake, you know, remember the old handle grip where you had one on the floor. Gauge cluster brightness is here. Headlight controls are here. Chances are you're just going to leave that in automatic, you know, like most people. Up top we have our heated steering wheel, forward collision alert, cruise control settings, Bluetooth hands-free. So if you need to make a call, you have your phone set up, just hit that. Call home, call Bob, George, whoever it is, uh, pretty simple. On the right side, we've got the dial that will go through kind of all the different uh, information here in the screen. You can see I'm going through that. We go through our audio. You can use your navigation. So we got here, we've got our trips, our average speed, our fuel range until we're empty, our oil life, our air pressures, all that kind of stuff uh, right here in the main screen. You can, of course, use your audio or your navigation right through here as well. And I'm just doing that using this. This will change the stations on your radio, and this is your volume controls. Over here, we've got our infotainment system, full color, of course, AM, FM, XM, satellite radio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Hopefully, I'm not killing you guys with the, uh, had the heat on a little bit, climate control system on. All-wheel drive, on or off, your mode selector, so whether it's touring, sport, uh, or towing mode, traction control system, on or off. Uh, you can see, I'll give you a peek at the navigation, what that looks like. Really, really clean setup. Of course, I'm in a parking lot right now, but, you know, what you're used to seeing when it pulls out, the camera angle will be behind you and follow you along in the arrow. Nice and easy system to use. You get your hazard lights up here on the right. Parking sensors on or off. Lane departure warning on or off. I'll give you a peek at your camera systems quickly, just so you can see. Here's your HD surround vision camera system. You can see we've got an overhead view here. On the right side, we're looking actually in front of us. Looking behind us. Kind of an overhead view from the rear, front view, overhead. The views on this thing are just crazy that it uses, basically uses the camera to calculate all the information and create these 3D images. Get your curb hunter cameras, so if you're gonna uh, pull up somewhere tight, make sure you're not gonna curb those beautiful wheels and of course your tow hitch camera. So plenty of different uh, camera viewing angles. As far as backing this thing up into tight quarters or in the city, you shouldn't have any issue there. If you do, well, I don't know what to tell you. We've pretty much given you everything. You got front parking sensors, rear parking sensors, you got 100 cameras, you got everything you could possibly ever need. So below that, you've got, of course, your analog controls, so your volume, you can jump forward and backwards, uh, depending on whether it's uh, next track, previous track, or going through your different presets and your radio. 
Uh, it does have 4G LTE Wi-Fi. I, I'm sure I mentioned it, but you have your hotspot there. And if you have a MyLink, which if you bought one of these, I'm, I'm sure you have a MyBuick, sorry, a uh, MyBuick account. You can log into your MyBuick account there. Schedule service, things like that. Rear climate control setups are here. And your climate control system can all be used to the touchscreen as well. But if you're anything like me, I still kind of like the old uh, just pressing the button. That's just me. I'd rather not have to go into the system. Down low, you've got a wireless charging dock. So if you have a conductive uh, phone with a conductive back, just set that phone down. It will charge wirelessly. Got two USB ports, auxiliary jack, SD card slot. Right here, we've got our cup holders or the place where I put my keys. The new shifting system, foot on the brake. There's a button right here that will put you into gear. Park, hit park. Pretty easy. I actually think I like this more than the buttons on, because uh, just, you know, familiarity, but. Um, Kind of an interesting way that they did this. Big console, you got a little organizer tray here, but this actually comes out and you have more room underneath. So if you want to kind of hide something under there, you can do that. You do have the Bose audio system, as I mentioned. You can see the Bose audio logo. And once again, these floor mats look really, really, really good um, and will keep your carpets safe from sand and snow and all that stuff that we're, we're heading into that season, unfortunately. Love the design with the wood and the aluminum. You do have the glove box over there. I'm not going to climb over there. I think we all know what one looks like. Above, you've got a place to keep some sunglasses. You've got your programmable garage door openers. Of course, the controls to your power sliding moonroof. And you've also got your HD rear backup camera here, your rear view camera. So that's what you're used to seeing. Um, this is what you're used to seeing, but this is what you can actually see now. So really nice setup. Let's see, it's not going to do anything, obviously. It's just force of habit. Um, so if you wanted to be able to get a little bit better view, you know, instead of kind of seeing that, we have to look through the back seats, the kids flying around and everything else. You can just leave this on all the time, uh, and that will give you a nice, clean, crystal clear picture of what's going on behind you. So once again, just a nice little feature to have. And that, my friends, is kind of the quick rundown. I know a lot of people don't even really know about this thing and how packed with features uh, and how luxurious it actually is. It drives like an absolute dream. And once again, any questions, uh, concerns, comments, I'll give you a quick look. Throw the headlights on. Um, once again, questions, comments, anything else that you may have about this thing or any other stuff on our lot, feel free to ask. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget the headlights are only flickering because that's the way the camera picks them up. I know, uh, you know, someone's going to leave that comment. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. I am out of here. Take care.